Hello everyone, Michael Voris here from Church Militant St. Michael's Media. I'd like to address, obviously, uh, the uh, ongoing uh, storm uh, that unfortunately I'm at the center of. of. When we started, uh, actually when I founded St. Michael's Media 18 years ago, a little bit more than 18 years ago, and then started accruing staff and getting you know bigger, the whole point of the apostolate was simply to just teach Catholic faith. Uh, things that have been absent, obviously, you guys know the story. Uh, we never imagined that it would just sort of keep growing and then becoming this bigger and larger thing. It was just for the first three years, a local TV show here in Detroit that we used to actually play on a Protestant station, The One True Faith. Uh, since that time, obviously, it's grown and all of that. I'd like to speak, if I could, for just a moment to the mission of it. Nothing that I have done or anybody else over the years has done uh, has altered that mission one iota. The mission is always and remains the salvation of souls. Uh, there have been uh, uh, failings in that area with regard to me, my own personal behavior, not just the most recent stuff here, but all sorts of other things that uh, I don't want to make excuses because there isn't any for what I've done. There aren't any for what I've done, uh, but there are, uh, and I will just touch on it briefly so to have an idea of where I'm coming from with this. Uh, there are, sometimes it takes very horrible events, even at your own hand, in your life to surface certain things that need to be uh, faced. Uh, there are some very, very uh, ugly truths from my past that I, for essentially 62 years, have avoided facing because I didn't want to. Uh, I wanted them resolved, but I understand that the touching that pain is going to be a very horrible thing, and uh, so I am looking at what is happening right now as an opportunity to uh, God-given, even if you could call it a dark grace or black grace, that's kind of one of those pseudo-theological expressions, seems to be appropriate here. Uh, so uh, there are things I have to go away and address and work on. Um, they are, again, horrible, ugly things. I'm not going to share them. Nobody else's business except mine. The consequences of me not dealing with those obviously are some people's business, and that's what I'm making this video for, uh, to be able to say that, first of all, for anybody who has been impacted in a, net, well, you wouldn't be impacted, I suppose, in a positive way, but any sort of negative way, uh, you know, you have my uh, deepest heartfelt uh, apologies, my, uh, the most sincere, there's nothing I can say to make it good. I can't. Uh, so, uh, to the extent that I can say and be completely upfront about it, that is true. Uh, likewise, uh, I have never, even in the midst of all of this, ever thought that the Catholic Church is not the one true faith. It's established by the, in, the eternal Logos, the incarnate eternal Logos for our salvation, uh, that remains absolutely firm set in me. I have never wavered from that, even in my past, you know, my 30s, I suppose you could say, uh, even though in the midst of all that sin for years and years and years and years, I never didn't think that. I've always believed that. I believe that now. I have never not believed that. So if anybody is, a, I suppose, weak faith, as St. Paul might say, is troubled by my failings vis-a-vis -vis how it might impact your faith, don't be. I have and to this day, I remain standing here right now in front of you. The Catholic Church is established by Jesus Christ for our salvation, and outside of her, there is no salvation. Uh, that doesn't mean, of course, that her members, and I'm talking about me, uh, always live up to that. Uh, some, you know, that's why our Lord made confession, for goodness sakes. Uh, so, uh, but to that end, uh, that is exactly what church militant has been preaching, St. Michael's Media has been preaching from its very first moment when I signed the documents to begin the 501c Corporation. Actually, even before that, because I already bought some of the equipment and everything beforehand. Uh, so uh, it's, I believe it's already known information that obviously I've resigned uh, all of my leadership responsibilities and roles and whatever. Uh, with regard to uh, having any input or 
vision, any of that stuff. The mission is the mission. Nothing touches the mission. Every one of us as a Catholic has that mission, regardless if you belong to an apostle or you're just living at home with your family. It's the salvation of souls. That's not something unique to uh, our apostolate. Uh, how we exercise it, of course, that is what I am uh, stepping away from. Uh, I have, in truth, as I've shared with a number of people, uh, very close friends over the last number of days, uh, uh, in one sense, I'm kind of relieved uh, that, you know, that I, anyway, personally have reached this point. I have been looking at the uh, ugliness uh, surfacing uh, inside, have not liked it for a number of times. In my head, I had written my resignation letter already uh, a handful of times this year. Uh, so I am, uh, uh, and like I said, in one sense, kind of relieved. I need to conquer these demons. And I'm not talking about just act out demons. Uh, th that's a symptom. It's horrible. It's awful. It's sinful. I'm not downplaying it at all. What I'm saying is the underlying cause of it has been too ugly for me to look at. It involves an awful lot of in one sense for me, like spiritual terror, and I've not wanted to go near it because of what I, because. So uh, that said, I have spent the last couple of days or so, few days, uh, looking and talk, looking for and talking to people who I believe can help me face this and uh, professionally. Uh, so um, I am going to, uh, I don't want to use the word retreat, but uh, I'm going to step away from the camera and I'm going to go concentrate on that. Uh, if, as I said, if it has taken this kind of um, bad event to bring this about, I was talking to a close friend just a few minutes before shooting this, and I said, you know, uh, if our Lord has tried to put me in a position in my past life at any point, many times, to make me look at this stuff, well, I missed it. And if I did miss it, I missed it because I was terrified to look at it, uh, uh, to look at all of it. It's massively extensive, and that's probably another reason why I just said I can't do this and I, you know, I don't even know where to go. It's all very horribly embarrassing. Again, I'm not talking about acting out stuff. I'm talking about stuff much, much, much deeper than all of that. Uh, so uh, I have the obligation as a Catholic man to go present myself to God when I do, whenever that moment arrives, his decision, of course, uh, and say that I did the best that I could up to this point, my 62 years, I haven't. This, I have been, uh, without touching the objective truth of what we have done at St. Michael's Media for all of these years, without touching that, I have not had the courage to face the truth of my own stuff. And so, however it came about, I'm now propelled into that, and I intend to take full advantage of this. Um, all of that said, I want to beg and plead with you, do not let the moral failings, the fear, the all of my stuff move over onto the apostolate. I am out of the apostolate specifically so there will be a very clear uh, separation there. That work and the staff there of 40, well, I don't remember what it is now, more than 40 uh, uh, people uh, deserve your continued support, even more so actually, to be honest, even more so. Uh, you know, they are, uh, they are obviously hurt by, you know, all of this. Uh, and uh, their work can't be diminished because their former leader uh, failed. Uh, so I would beg and plead and pray with you to please continue that support for them. That mission can never go away. It just can't. It's way too important. Uh, uh, and let me underscore that 
personally here with a wrapping up thought. Had I, right now, not had the love and the concern of those around me who are exhibiting that to me because of our Catholic faith, and the people that I have turned to to help uh, also because of their Catholic faith, had I not had the church uh, to be there, that's my church and it's the church, but you know you, everybody has an experience of the church, that's my experience, the people around me uh, and the people I'm going to, had I not had that, uh, uh, I'm not sure what would have happened. Um, uh, to a, it's a spiritual battle. Grace builds on nature. My nature, my truths from my deep, deep, deep past are greatly damaged, and those need fixing and addressing. I would not be doing that if it weren't for my faith. So uh, I am going to exhibit a trust in God that let all of my very close friends know I have had deep issues with trusting God, not believing for me personally trusting, big difference. Uh, so I am going to trust that God will do what God needs to do because I'm going to stand in front of him as is completely just wrecked son and say here, here I am it took me 62 years to get here so uh, it, I, I, I have no doubt that if I do what he wants it will turn out the way he wills my will has been I don't want to do it for 60 years his will is do it so do it uh, and there I go so uh, I would ask you then for just two things, please, and I know I don't have the right to ask for anything, but uh, first of all, your prayers uh, for me and for the apostolate, uh, people particularly in the apostolate who've been you know, most hurt, damaged, affected, impacted by all of my stuff, uh, uh, and also for your support for them and the mission as it moves forward. Um, uh, I will, I'm not sure exactly when I would be back, if I'm even back in front of a camera, uh, but until such time, uh, I would wish you uh, the very best. Stay strong as you can. If you've got some ugliness from your past, don't let it control you. Don't run away from it, don't let it control you. I'm telling you right from the heart, don't let it. it Satan uses everything he can get to even wounds that weren't your fault, he finds them and he goes in for them. So uh, with that, uh, please continue your support for uh, the Apostle of St. Michael's Media, and uh, I wish you the very best over you know, Advent's very soon approaching, uh, and obviously Christmas season, always a season full of hope. Uh, I will be away uh, uh, submitting myself to care in all of these things. And so for that, I also ask you for your prayers personally for me. Uh, thank you very much.